Hello Ghana, this is Wentworth from David and Goliath Music. King David has the day off, so I'll be taking you through a music production class today. I'm just kidding, this is King David, David and Goliath Music, BeatClass.com, GuardiAct.com, MasterMyBeat.com. Um, so, you guys have been asking me questions about how do you record rap vocals. Alright, I'm going to give you the skinny on it, and then I'll give you the fat on it. The skinny is... There is no one way to record rap vocals. There's too many factors, okay? So if you're looking for a quick fix like that, I would tell you that you probably are in the wrong profession. You should probably maybe uh, join an assembly line at an automobile plant, okay? Now, the second thing is many of you are trying to sound like other producers, okay? You're under the misconception that if you make a beat that's just like another producer, let's say a famous producer, then now all of a sudden you're a producer. Um, please don't don't fall into that trap. Reason why it's a trap is because at the end of the day, you're going to find yourself running out of ideas and options. Okay. And the reason why I've been here for over 40 years, still making music, still writing for artists, still making a living, is because there is only one of me. All right. And I figured if it takes a long time to go ahead and learn as much as I need to learn, well, then I'm going to be the more uh, equipped to stay and go the distance. But if it comes quickly, it usually goes quickly as well. Does that make sense to everybody? I if not, well, just hit me up and I'll uh, or join Guardiac.com. That's the best way to do it. Take some classes with me. You'll see the difference between uh, me and, say, peer to peer learning or or copying off of your favorite producer. Uh, I know it sounds cool. I remember when I s first started piano uh, playing and I learned how to play uh, Elder Barge. I really thought, well, shoot, I was, I was in business. But then if you had to sit me down at a show and play brand new music, um, it took me a little longer to play that music. So I, I really wasn't as um, talented as I thought I, I was. Okay? I just had memorized like a trained seal how to do a couple tricks. Now, I want to get you away from being a trained seal and, and get you to being uh, a functioning musician, music producer. All right. And that means you're going to have to you're going to have to pay in sweat and tears like they said in a in fame. It's going to cost and it's going to cost in sweat. So, <laughs> so let's go ahead and start sweating. All right. All right. So the first thing to remember is that no two rappers, no two artists are the same. So the settings are not going to be the same. But there are c some things that you can do. For instance, on your input, when you're us using your ASIO driver or your ASIO driver, and you're going in mono, make sure you go in mono. All right. You can add compression to the beginning of the recording chain, so that will level out the vocals. Many rappers they they go up and down the volume. All right. This should help smooth out the volume. Now the settings on the compressor are not going to be something again that you can memorize because it's going to have to pertain to each artist so for my voice there's going to be one setting but then for squeaky or pooky or whatever shamame or whoever his name is or her name is the settings are going to change so you're going to have to actually learn uh, all the functions of a compressor you know what instead of making a beat one day spend about two or three hours learning what compressors do do all kinds of vocals, uh, change the settings, find out what it does for your music. Okay? Alright. So, with that being said, compressor compression could really help with evening out the, the spikes, the up and down in the vocals. Smooth that out. Alright? Now, the, the other side of the chain is the playback side of the chain. Y you want to, if you do like I do and you record in sections, Okay, you might want to take all of these sections and run them through one effect. So this way you don't have to uh, have all these little sections um, that you have to keep on changing the volume on. I think I told you about that in, in, a, in an earlier class. All right, and you can do that simply by right-clicking on all the audio that you need to send through one effect. And because we went over this before, I'll go over this really quickly. Right-click, got all your vocal channels lit up. Then come to your mixer, find whatever channel you want to go through. And for uh, my, my purposes, I'm going through channel 11. Right click on that and go uh, link selected channels to this track. Boom. I'm not going to do it because it's already done. All right. So now that I have my vocals together, um, by the way, I have a nice uh, 
dog that's in the back that uh, wants to help teach you some stuff too. I think he's trying to tell you um, that you need to adjust the EQ as well. So I'll, I'll go ahead and tell you what the dog is trying to tell you. Uh, what I also do is equalize my vocals um, just for that particular channel. So you'll see here that I'll took, I took some of my bottom out. I use the, just the EQ that's provided by um, the three band EQ that's provided by FL Studio. The name of the game is use every tool that you have. No one tool is better than the other. They just do different things. So use everything at your disposal. And what you're going to come up with is a more professional, varied track. Um, the better tracks have more variation. They have just more variation. It doesn't mean that you have all this stuff packed into it or more music packed into it. But it means that there's a variety. There's a, uh, differences to each track. That's what creates a professional sounding track is that there's clear distinction between each track. So you'll see that I raised my uh, my highs up. I probably went up a little too high. I went up about maybe 2.8 decibels. I brought my subs down. Um, uh, I should have went probably negative 2 point something, but I went negative 3.2. And I brought my mids up just by 0.4. That should uh, even out my vocals and give it a more crisp and presence. And uh, the mids will bring out the, uh, will make it a lead, give it distinction between the lead and the backing vocals. How do I learn this? I have just practice, 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 read, 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 practice, practice, read, 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 read. All right. All right. So there we go. So we got our sounds. Now I'm going to play it for you. I'm going to play it with and without the effects. And I'm going to let you hear the difference between the effects. And then I'm going to give you a little bonus, bonus tip um, that hopefully will be something that you can use. All right. Here we go. Play it back. Here are the vocals uh, with the effects. Here we go. Uh, uh, King David, uh, D and G music, uh, yeah, uh, listen, King David on the beat, world class musician, can't stand the heat, get the fuck up out the kitchen, you should've listened, now your ass is missing, black band two goons telling you to get in, I got the vision to make a sharp incision and cut out the fake phonies, wannabes and fake homie, homie. I ain't Drake, homie, so don't test me. I make hunting you a sport. SBs, the best be me. You just a follower. She's a swallower. That's why I tolerate her. I got a girl so sweet they call her now and later. I can take it to the sweet now and later. Okay, so there are my vocals with the effects. Now I'm gonna take them off, and you'll hear the difference. Now let's also before I take them off, let's discuss which ones I had. I had a reverb. I never use a l reverb heavy. I'm I'm really light on my reverbs, but uh, it, it, that could change if I'm doing a specific style of music. All right, so I only got five percent reverb, and then I brought my mix level to even lower, so maybe ten percent mix level. So I have very little reverb. It's just a subtle reverb that gets it a little bit wet. All right. And gives it a little bit of a moist sound. Then I put my waves doubler, which is really similar to a chorus separates the sound it gives it a it, it makes a mono sound sound stereo actually it's making the reverb sound sound stereo so what you're hearing is a reverb getting doubled uh, the voice gets doubled as well but more it gets out of tune so this doubler takes the original sound um, and detunes it and then you have both together and it gives it the idea or the sound the feeling of almost like doubled vocals like when you um, when you double your vocals normally Alright, then I added another compressor, but this one isn't just a normal compressor. This is a multiband compressor. Alright, I, I taught this many times over at Guardiac.com. Um, the the multiband compressor, the difference between the compressor and the multiband compressor is the compressor is like a steak knife. Excuse me, the, the compressor is like a butter knife. It's dull, it doesn't do precision cutting. And then the multiband compressor is like a steak knife it's sharp and it does precision work and you can actually affect or compress just a, a narrow uh, bandwidth I won't go into much detail here you know I'll, I'll give you that information on some other other day because that's not the focus of what we're doing here we're doing vocals so remember multiband compressor for a uh, steak knife regular compressor is a butter knife all right cool so now let's take the effects off. Let's see what it sounds like. I'm going to tell you right off the back, you're going to hear uh, less volume and you're going to hear less separation in the vocals. And here it is. Can't stand the heat, get the fuck 
ass about the kitchen You should've listened, now your ass is missing Black van, two goons telling you to get in I got the vision to make a sharp decision And cut out the fake phonies, wannabes and fake homies Alright, now I'm gonna add my effects Drake, homie, so don't test me I make hunting you a sport, SBs the best be without me. you just a follower she's a swallower that's why i tolerate her i got a girl so now you can hear the difference and how that the, that effect chain has really brought forward and spread out those vocals giving them more presence and more accuracy plus the eq makes a huge difference all right so now we've done that let me just give you some bonus information that i think will be helpful now um so when when you create a mix what we're trying to do is create a distinction between the audio. That's really what we're trying to do. Distinction doesn't have to be uh, drastic. It could be very subtle. All right, so we don't have to make these sweeping changes. All right, sometimes we can just make very subtle changes. Let me show you a subtle change. Uh, many of us know what the stereo separation does. We just know, some of us don't know what it does. We just know it sounds cool. Wow, it's great. Um, what it does is it stretches the stereo uh, spectrum and it, it stretches the separation between left and right okay so, but I want you to think of it as a rubber band so what happens when you stretch a rubber band can anyone tell me I feel like I'm teaching a class here somebody in the back raising their hand okay so when you stretch a rubber band basically you thin out that rubber band and what eventually happens when you stretch it too far it breaks Okay, and that's exactly what happens to audio when you separate it. You stretch it too far, you notice that your sounds get weak. You ever put too much uh, separation on your beat and you're like, man, what happened? It's not hard hitting like it was. All right, that's, it's getting thin. And eventually it's going to break. And by break, I mean it's not going to have any presence. It's not going to have any power. So you have to use stereo separation uh, judiciously. All right, and uh, that means wisely with some kind of forethought knowing exactly what you're trying to do now I had a uh, sound here called the zebra 2 I'm gonna go ahead and solo it and uh, the in its original form it didn't sound like that it sounded so vanilla or clean and this is how it sounded originally as soon as I can get the right setting Okay, now what I wanted to do is detune it. I did that. I don't know how much I added. Maybe about 17.5. A little bit more. You can hear now it sounds dirtier and not so clean. Then the second thing I had to do was change the stereo separation on it. Okay, the reason why was because it was thinning out the sound making it uh, not so clear and it was clashing with my vocals all right so these are the things we have to listen to so give me one second this is a, a beat that's in process I'm not finished at all mixing on it um, so let me just go ahead and pull my zebra up along with my vocal tracks I want to let you hear the clash that was occurring and how I fixed it all right and then after this you can go and work on some music here we go uh, uh, King David, uh, D and G music. All right, that's with the stereo uh, separation on the zebra. Yeah. Uh. Listen, King David on the beat, world class musician. Can't stand the heat. Get the fuck up out the kitchen. You should have listened. All right, now, now I'm gonna missing. change my stereo Black separation. Two goons telling you to get in. I got the vision to make a sharp decision and cut out. All right, now you should have heard the difference when I changed my stereo separation. When I made it much more merged. The term is merged and separated. Once I, uh, when I, when I begin to make it more merged, you can hear the vocals come out more clearly. I'm going to demonstrate it one more time. Uh, yeah, this uh, is separated all the way. Listen, King David on the beat, world class musician. I'm going to begin to merge heat. it. Get the fuck about the kitchen. You should have listened. Now your ass is missing. Black van, two goons telling you to get in. I got the vision to make a sharp decision. All right, make sense. Out the fake phonies, one of cool. these. King David, homies. David Goliath music. I ain't Drake, homie, so don't test me. Beatclass.com. Uh, yeah. The, 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 you just 
the follower She's a swallower, that's why I tolerate her I got a girl so sweet, they call her now and later I can take it to the sweet, now or later Peace, y'all, one love Keep making music, don't stop, ever One love